in the plant profile series of videos. Today we will look at a determinate tomato variety that's easy to grow in containers and small spaces. Let's look at the red pride hybrid tomato. And remember that this is not a comprehensive guide to growing tomatoes. This is a plant profile for the red pride hybrid tomato only. So we planted this tomato plant around July. We got the plant from our local garden store and then used this container, this 16 inch wide, 16 inch high container that holds about 5 to 7 gallons of soil. And within 5 days you can see that the plant grew very quickly and even produced some small tomatoes that you can see here. The potting mix that we're using is a standard 30% peat moss, 30% compost and 30% perlite with some tomato fertilizer mixed into the soil. And since it was very hot during July this year, I also used some mulch to protect the plant from the intense sun. And that way I didn't have to water the plant a lot. And about 20 days since planting, you can see that a lot of tomatoes have now grown on the plant. And the one tomato on the top that you can see is the one that's most exposed to the sun. And let's see how that tomato grows. Now you can see that the plant is very short. I mean, this plant is about like a foot in height and it has produced a lot of tomatoes. And in about 30 days, you can see that some of the tomatoes have ripened on the vine. And this one tomato that we are harvesting right now, you can see that it looks pretty good, but it does have the other side a little affected from the sun. So you can still use the other side of the tomato, the side that you are seeing, but because of a lot of sun, you might see some tomatoes that might be affected. Now all the other tomatoes were fine in this plant. And you can see that the tomatoes are medium to large size tomatoes. As you can see here, they do have a little bit of cracks on their side, but it's not significant to cause any misshaped fruits. So as you can see here, the plant produces tomatoes in these huge clusters and the plant is still about a foot tall, as you can see, and it keeps producing these large tomatoes right at the bottom of the plant and this is why I highly recommend this plant if you're growing in small spaces in containers this plant grows very well and produces a lot of tomatoes I have not even used any cage or support for this tomato plant it's a bush type tomato plant that's determinate it doesn't have indeterminate vines it just confines itself to growing into a small space and still you can see that it has these large number of fruits. And as you can see here, all these tomatoes have ripened on the vine. And vine ripened tomatoes, sun ripened tomatoes are the best tasting tomatoes you'll ever get. And as far as insects and diseases go, this plant wasn't attacked by any insects. And as far as diseases, I did not see any kind of fungal diseases in this plant. So overall, it's a very disease resistant plant that produces large clusters of tomatoes, does not produce a lot of foliage as you can see here. It's just a lot of tomatoes and the plant is just about a foot high as I mentioned. And I did remove some of the dead leaves from the bottom part of the plant to keep it clean. And I've noticed that it also improves the tomato production for the plant. So all in all, I highly recommend this tomato variety. This is a small plant. It still produces a lot of fruits, a lot of medium to large sized tomatoes that are excellent in taste. It reminds me of the Mountain Pride hybrid tomato that I had reviewed earlier. If you haven't watched that video, do check it out. This plant is very close to that. It is still a lot smaller than the Mountain Pride Hybrid Tomato. So all in all, I highly recommend that you grow this tomato plant. Try it out. I'll try to post a link to the seeds in the video description.
So there we have it folks, that was our plant profile series for the Red Pride Hybrid Tomato. If you like this video, do let me know in the comments below and give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more plant profiles, do let me know as well. I'll see you again soon. Happy gardening.